So, back again this time around, and you can see we <laughs> made a bit of a mess here. We did. We were finishing off this field with the harvest, and from the you know continuing off in the last video, we decided to leave the PlayStation and I'm go get a bite to eat and a cup of tea, and the crop withered. So here we are now. Crop withered. Not much left really, and um, so we didn't really lose that much money on it to be honest. But we're going to leave the straw there because that's going to be coming. That's going to come in handy at a later point. So from where we were, we continued on down to field number field number nineteen. Is it? Yeah. Basically, so what we're doing is remember we were talking about making silage. So because we probably missed out on about three or four thousand there on that field, we uh, we decided just to nip that in the bud because there wasn't much money in that. No, there's not much money in wheat at all. Like the whole field, like we were probably playing it for about an hour, an hour and fifteen minutes. The whole thing, and I'd say we probably made about thirty, thirty thousand, maybe thirty, thirty-five thousand. So what we did was we actually bought this field nineteen, and we started to we started to sell, we started, started to sell the sold. grass for the silage. Yeah, what we did was we sold most of our things. Like we had two of, two of these tractors, we had two of these bureau tractors. We had this common harvester and this header, and we actually had a trailer. We had that trailer. So we decided just to sell everything because there was absolutely no need for us to have them while we are doing. We're, we're preparing the field to make silage. So we have, we might have, we've got about we got yeah. about 70 grand now that we're going to hold on to. Well, so what we're going to use with that is, well, I've got 68. Uh, McGinn's got 2,000. Yeah, look, check me out. So 68,000 here. Jesus. So what we do is then with that money we can buy. Yeah, well, what we did was we sold all our stuff and I think we had 90,000. But what we did was we bought this field here, field 19, and that cost us $78,000, which actually isn't really too bad. Was the reason we bought. 000? Well, no, 78,000. Oh, not too bad. I'm not too sure. It was, it was something around 80,000 anyway. Uh, the reason we picked this field was just because we want to make silage and the place where we sell silage is the biogas plant which is right here and you make silage in these silage pits right here so like you're able to see there on the left hand side fill level and compact and when it gets to 10% that's when you're able to put tarp over and make silage and this is where we were going to be loading the silage into these biomass things if you're able to see there and that's where we're going to make our money and you'll see like you make some amount of money in this. Uh, so basically, that's the reason we did that. And also, what we did was, because the field is so big, we bought an extra sewing machine to help with speed, really, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're going to have a runner. So instead of, because it covers about a three-meter area. Yeah. So instead of covering just a three-meter area, we're going to move, we're going to use yeah, the like second one. So some, one person goes ahead and the other person goes behind. Yeah. At, you know, off at an angle a bit. So just so you can cover that extra bit. So you're covering about... Say about you know five meters, five and a half meters, six meters, you know, at max. Yeah. So it makes it so it, you know it, it speeds it up a lot more. That's why, you know, we, we don't stress the point, but we'll always tell tell you play with a friend, because if you're playing by yourself. You you'll find that you're that is, you're gonna find it's a lot, very tedious. It's gonna be very annoying. So in here now at the moment, McGinn's gonna set himself up. But when you're using a sower, you gotta always wanna attach a weight to the front, because otherwise you're gonna be pulling wheelies down the field. Now, you might think it's hilarious at first, but you're going to get nothing done. Yeah. You, you can't really keep a line either. Right, so do you want to keep going there and yeah. follow on? Here's well, when you're using this, just make sure on the bottom right hand corner there, if you're able to see the little icon that's changing, that's what you're, you're, you're going to sell. So that's like corn, that's beets, that's wheat. And this one here is grass, so that's what we're going to be choosing to sell. It's actually very very simple when you do it like you're able to see in the back of scales there it basically is just like a roll out length of grass <laughs> <laughs> so you go on the football pitches and you see the change in the pitch it's almost like yeah. they're rolling it out also when I'm doing something like this I always use cruise control because it's pain in the ass holding down the speed like trying to regulate your speed as well like I find on this there's kind of like a an angle to this field so the tractor kind of pulls a little bit left the odd time so just kind of keep yourself straight. 
No, it's not too bad. Like it, this field actually is quite large. If really kind of sit, whoa, see that's what I mean there. Pull yeah, the you, you sit back, you you pull back, and you see it's actually see the length of the field yeah. there. You're gonna see. That's like this is the area we're gonna cover. So that is gonna give us a lot of grass when we mow it. But um, that's what we want. We want a lot of grass, a lot of silage, a lot of money, a lot of expansion. Yeah, but as, as Scott was saying there earlier, like especially when you start off the game. Like you only have a certain amount of money, like, like, to buy, to buy a bigger sewing machine. You could, you could, I could go out and just buy this sewing machine here for nine, for ninety eight grand, right? But see there, it goes required power, regulated power, whatever it is. Required power, I think, is one hundred and eighty brake horsepower. Or this one here, you need to have two hundred and twenty brake horsepower, three hundred and twenty brake horsepower. That means you need a tractor with that horsepower to use that material. So. Like just say for instance if we wanted to buy the biggest one we'd have to the minimum tractor we need is this new holland t8 which actually costs two hundred and fifty four thousand dollars so like you actually need the tractor like you just be just be careful that you have enough money to buy the tractor for the till because like it would be nothing worse like just say for instance we went out and bought the biggest till but sure we couldn't use it because we have these tractors so just always make sure that and as well some people I don't know like if you if you know already but when you're playing you're able to use your career like when you're playing single player you're able to use your single player map on your multiplayer so whatever save game you have in your single player you can use that in multiplayer and whatever you buy or whatever kind of advances you make or however far you get with your farm when you save that you're able to use it back on your single player map so it actually is worthwhile getting someone in to help you in multiplayer oh yeah it always is you know it's it's like i said earlier you know it, it helps to have someone come in a friend just to give you a dig out uh, even like a half an hour an hour and like believe me it goes a very very long way yeah like it took us to, to get this far how long did it take us really not too long not too long 10, 15 because, minutes yeah because the fact of the matter is the two of us are, are plugging away at it and it's it's grand do you want to go there yeah go on now get a nice little convoy as well it's a bit like I know it is a good game but like when you're doing something like this now for an hour it is good crack to have someone to chat to as well when you're playing a game like this isn't it oh yeah you know? I know a lot of people might say because like, during the game there's no actual music yeah. You know, there's like there's like music in the in the main menu, but after that, then it's you got the you got the noise sound of a ch tractor tr chugging away, and now now uh, we obviously we we just chat to each other, shoot the breeze and all that. Yeah. Jesus, these tractors are actually getting filthy the more we use them, aren't they? We will have to buy a power washer. I'd say, I'd say. Well, that's probably getting a bit ahead of ourselves. That, that, we that, few, that's just pure aesthetics, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, when you do when you're selling a tractor, it's actually um, you make more money when you use a power when you power wash it and when it's clean. Yeah, when you clean it because let's let's be honest here, you're gonna buy a car that's dirty, you yeah. know. Scott, you're missing a big line. I know, there, yeah, it's gonna keep pulling over. That's why. Yeah. I'm gonna have to move in as well a bit. Ah, sure. Look, plenty of time to fix it. Exactly. So basically, what we're doing here it was we're just planting all our grass to make silage and as we find and everyone else really says it silage is the cash crop even though it's not a crop it's decomposing grass but it is the money that's where the money is at the quick money the easy money after renewable energy but you have to have money to get into that game <laughs> so that's what i'd advise like first thing you do harvest whatever you the game gives you at the start usually it is wheat and you have all the materials to do it sell that sell up everything buy yourself a field near a biogas plant and start making silage because that is literally the easiest way to make money the easiest fastest cheapest way to make big money and it is the biggest money well you continue on i don't think i'll get some cash money what, what well, I'm gonna, so i'm gonna have to get some more uh some more seed hey do you so want to plant yours i'll go and get it and i'll show the guys where you go and get it or i'll even hop into your tractor yeah sure i'll jump out there uh yeah so basically, if you're able to see down there in the bottom right-hand side, there's a little number 42, and if you look closely, there's a 7% on the side of it. That is an icon of how much seed is left inside the sewing machines. Like, obviously, the bigger the sewing machine, the bigger the capacity it's able to hold, but it is a bit of a pain. Like, we have to keep going back to our farm 
to get the seed for our assumption. Then again, also like having I'm, having the second person as well is a lot better because uh, obviously his his is like you know it's why well, he's at sixty two percent. That means he you know I can jo- I can go back and get more, and he can he can keep he can keep tilling away there, as opposed to you know. Yeah, it's not that time. Like we're still keeping making ground, even though. Yeah, exactly, know. exactly. So. Geez, there is some big buildings in this game. Yeah. That's the biogas plant, was it? Oh, no, well, no. That was just, just. So we're down beside the biogas plant. Yeah. Uh, Look, it looks like a little. Baseball uh, field down the left hand side of the uh, map. Yeah, so I imagine you can get down to that. Do you know, to have a look at it. Yeah. All right, here, look. That that's a story for another day. That is a story for another day. So, so what Megan's going to do now is he's going to bring it down and show you where you can refill your seed. Yeah. And basically, that is really the only problem. But, as we say, when you buy the bigger sowers, they are, you can, like I know from other games, like when you're planting big fields, like a thing like, see the capacity there is 1,200 or 112,000 or whatever the hell it is. Um, like compared to the capacity in this as well. 600 litres or whatever like you could get a full field out of that but once again cost more money bigger tractor and we're starting out in our game and that's just what we're working forward to yeah working exactly to. so you want eventually eventually the field is going to end up you know you're going to you're going to hire workers and things like that so you may be able to, I could go off and say right I'm going to go down and have a look at that field and then I sort it out so I can go down hire someone to you know start cultivating and then you know, hire another fella then to jump in and start sowing the seed and then if you turn up the speed of it sure by the time you get to halfway through the field half the field is already after you know the crops already after growing so you can come along there with the combo and harvest and someone else can come along there with the trailer and collect everything you know collect all the stuff you need yeah but, just um, just in relation to filling up your your sewing machine basically there will be like a little uh kind of setup of bags like this in each one of your farms and then um, you just pull up alongside it and I still have the little kind of controls helper down the left hand side but you just press your button and you fill up your sewing machine remember to hold it down because I made that silly mistake only earlier where I didn't hold it down I think I filled up about 5% of it yeah so especially when you're making a big long drive like this it wouldn't be too big of a deal if uh, your sewing field just like this one in front of me but when you're doing it that far away you kind of do want to make make that drive worthwhile Anyway, basically that's really all we're going to do in this video is plant more grass. So, to, to save you the boring stuff, we're going to stop this right about now because, you know, it's literally, just, you're going to be, that's the general gist of what you're going to be doing when you're planting, you know, you're sowing the seeds for grass. So, for me, I'm going to say good day. Yeah. And, from you, any, Give us any a little words? Um, subscribe and like if you can. If not, thanks very much for your view. Um, what we're going to do is probably just to let you know like what we're going to do in our next video we're going to continue on with making silage hopefully we'll have the field done and we'll have our mowers and all bought by then and uh, we'll show you how to make silage and how to make big money anyway thanks again a little like and a subscribe wouldn't go astray and